We go to the Heights, talk to our new Shirasta. She's got a live shot up and running for us there. We saw White Oak flooding out parts of 8th Street earlier. I've seen pictures on Twitter of a school bus in a ditch. And what do you know? That's right behind you, Anusha. Yeah. Yeah, Owen and Rachel, good morning to you. That's right, we're in the Heights neighborhood on Kansas Street near Arabella, and it is raining, as you can see, uh, not as heavy as it was uh, just about 30 minutes ago, but earlier this morning, there was a lot of high water in the streets in the Heights neighborhood, which resulted in this. We're told the high water pushed this HISD school bus into this ditch. You can see it with, it's there right now with its lights flashing, and uh, we've got some caution tape up uh, on this part of Kansas Street to, uh, to stop drivers from moving into that area, but I'm going to bring in um, a gentleman named Lupe Barajas, and he was here this morning. He works next door. Uh, he actually tells us that he saved the bus driver who was in the bus uh, and pulled her out. Lupe, good morning to good you. Morning. Tell us what time was that and, and what happened? What did you see? It was 6.58 in the morning, and I seen the bus driver was already in the ditch, and uh, I ran over here, and the water was knee high. So when I ran, I tried to open the bus door, and there was just a lady in there. I thought it was kids in it, so I got her out with my truck mm -hmm. and got her to her office. You said the water was, was knee, knee, high. knee high? Yeah, it was about knee high. Mm -hmm. it, it, describe to me, I mean, she must have been terrified. Yeah, well, she was scared because the bus is leaning, and there's a power uh, line pole there. So now the HISD, they're concerned about that. When the tow truck comes, they might damage the pole. Right, so you help her out, and then and then what happens? Do you call the police? What happened from there? Well, she, that's when she called HISD, the board, so they can send uh, backups, they can block the streets mm -hmm. for keeping people from driving through. And, and we saw a safety investigator out here, um, and, and so do you know what's going on with this bus? When are they going to get it moved from, from this ditch? No, uh, the board guy, he's sending the tow trucks already, so they call the center point too because uh, the pole is right next to the bus, so they're scared that whenever they try to lift it, it might damage the pole. Now you said that the water was really high and, it, and I'm assuming it was raining really, really hard. Um, what were you doing out here so early this morning? My boss woke, him, woke me up at 4.30 in the morning. He says, I'll meet you at the office in 30 minutes mm -hmm. so we can drive the neighborhood because it was flooded and he wanted to take pictures of his property. Jim Clark is the responsible one. <laughs> All right, so we're glad that you were able to help that bus driver out safely. Now tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of work that you do because it involves flooding and high water. I work for Regal General Contract and we do 24-hour fire and water burglaries, so we're on call 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And now, is this uh, pretty bad, uh, I mean, compared to other weather events that we've seen recently, or would you say this is pretty common for this area? No, well, ever since they started building all these townhomes, that's when the problem occurred. It started happening. Mm -hmm. We start flooding. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you mentioned that, like, almost 7 o'clock this morning there was such high water, and now it's completely gone. I mean, is that surprising that it recedes so quickly? Yes, but as soon as we start raining for another hour, an hour and a half, we're gonna, it's going to flood again. It's going to flood again. All right, Lupe, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And thanks so much for helping that HISD bus driver. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to send it back to you. We'll keep an eye out uh, on the roads here, of course, and uh, bring you an update if we get anything new.